Hello, welcome back. This time I'll be telling you how to convert every single one of these layout items into our previously created layout. I added one box. You can also do it. This I added uh, into, well, sorry, not wrong view, code view. And here's the main content. I added the main text into the main content area and before the sidebar. Uh, as you can do by inserting div tag, add in, uh, after static tag, and main content. If you haven't got sidebar yet, well, just do it. And if you decide to add the sidebar after that, then after tag, and the main text. Right, now let's just continue on. Uh, yeah. I hope, hopefully I improved the ratios and resolution of the video, so I quantity for YouTube viewers. I added paddings, these boxes. I'm gonna talk about paddings later on, because these are doing a run through fast movement and don't have really time for explanation, so I'm gonna add extra videos for explanation I'll purposes later on. So let's start if we're in a hurry. So start starting from the top, I'm gonna want to add the this first area here. Um, before we do anything, I want to remove I think this is upper area. More writings that I don't wish to be an image. This is gonna be an image. Uh, I'll actually add a guide here. This is for easier working. Actually, uh, this is how I do it. Create a new layer. Deselect everything. Control D and image. Or sorry, actually. Yeah, it's image and apply image. Merge RGB multiple opacity 100. Now we have one entire document for writing. Actually, yeah, that's how I do it. Now, make sure you have the selected when you're creating your copying areas and stuff. Now, just Ctrl C, file new. I find this easier if you do it any other way, like creating um, slices. And you can create the slices. Just do an example. Um, sorry. I think I had turned down slices. Where was it? And never mind. I'm not wasting time here. Actually, this is quite quite important. Show uh, slices. And let's see, is there, is it, what is this? And this is the wrong tool. Right, let's create our first slice. And now just go to save for web devices. We have select your slice and let's start optimizing it. Just this. Uh, maybe you want to look around. This is the area of interest currently because if we're going to optimize it, we're going to take colors off so we would get the minimum size for this. Select GIF, select it over there. Yeah, select it. And uh, let's see. Minimize now. Take off colors until you see a quality change. I think there was a quality change. This was too minimal. Oh, there's a big one. So 16 colors, and this is quite good. I'm completely satisfied with it. Pick this one. 
slice one and go ahead and I'm not sure if you see it, but it's safe. Now um, I have created moved the images folder into the CSS folder so it's actually easier to do stuff. You can create a separate images folder for this because if you want later add later on want to add images into the content area then you, you it's easier to navigate there so but this is for CSS so that area say now let's go back to here select that area background actually I think yours is background color let's go into code view oh, where is now here we go. You should have a color here. If you don't, it's good. Just write URL. Press space. Actually, just press space and select URL. Now go and navigate into the images form. Uh, yeah, this is where slicing images usually screws up for me. It creates a separate folder called images. I don't want that. For now, I'll accept it. Save it. You get into design view and con be convinced that it actually showed up. Now, next thing is the banner. This I'm going to do a di tad differently because this I'm searching on, and this is actually easy to do this way. So, I'm going to your banner folder. Control click here. Uh, go into your main layer and copy it. Paste it, and we have it. Now save for devices again, and now bring it out to twenty two five six. Actually, this is my area of interest rather. And one two eight. This node. It was yeah see the gradients already screwing up one to it and um, let's save this I'll call this bad and save now go back here code view and let's see banner background Europe space URL and since we didn't actually slice it up it didn't create that damn images folder you can actually turn the images folder off but I can do it right now and control us to say let's see if it actually showed up it did it's looking quite nice and well should he this was grey, wasn't it? This is main content. Should be grey. Oh. Wait. And it's 850 pixels. So. Hmm. Don't know. Don't really care at the moment. May let's, let's see if it actually shows up. Preview. Oh, it does. Just make it smaller so you can see. And everything is showing up nicely. This is in in the web layout. Now let's go. On to our content area. This is the main text area. And this I want to leave blank because all the design is do done from main content. Uh, but this will actually give you. I'll give you the code afterwards in the um, description zone for this main text area. Well, main text. It's it's width and height. Arm 
and there is a padding of 5 pixels everywhere. So this will make it look nicer. There's no margins. But now, let's move on to our 